imagination. You should meet Henry Rousseau. He was a customs officer. Boring. In Paris, in France. But whenever he could get a few hours off, he taught himself how to paint. And when he was painting, Rousseau could imagine he was anywhere in the world. And in 1891, his imagination took him here, to the middle of a huge storm in a wild, tropical jungle, with a tiger holding its breath, ready to pounce. He called this painting Surprise. <laughs> Daydreaming of a beach and an ice cream. Not a jungle. Not furious wind and pouring rain. Not lightning shooting through the sky. Oh, and definitely not a hungry tiger hunting for dinner. Hunting for me. Rousseau never went to the jungle. He never got further than Paris. He was just using his imagination. And he's got a good one. A lot of this jungle would have come from Rousseau's visits to the botanical gardens down the road from where he worked. They had loads of plants there. And Rousseau would paint the ones he liked best and put them in his pictures. That's why you're more likely to find some of these plants in your house than in a tropical jungle. And to be honest, the only tiger Rousseau would have seen was either in the city zoo or stuffed. And maybe that's why. Although this painting is scary and exciting, it also feels like a dream storm in a dream jungle. Because that's what it is, a dream. It's not supposed to look completely real. It was dreamt up by a man sat in an office, putting the pieces together in his mind. The leaves are painted with precise, smooth strokes, with layer on layer of different greens. If you could dream up perfect leaves, they might look like this. And then there's the silver paint running diagonally all the way across the canvas that makes the rain seem magical and mysterious like we're looking through eyes that are half asleep. And when you're dreaming, you can break the rules of real life, can't you? Look at this tiger. He could never really be floating above the plants like this. And it's because Rousseau keeps breaking these rules that the painting feels like a dream. Art critics at the time thought this style of Rousseau's was too simple. He didn't care. He trusted himself. He gave up his office job, and he kept painting the way he wanted to. Soon, lots of other artists were inspired by his work. And so, who is the tiger about to surprise? Who's about to become dinner? A delicious antelope? A tasty wildebeest? A group of art critics? Just as long as it's not me. In fact, Rousseau leaves the answer up to us. He had such a big imagination. And he wanted us to use ours too. <laughs>